What's up everybody, it is How To Tech Studio, the place to go for all of your Pokemon Go spoofing stuff you will ever need, and this time we are showing you how to download this spoofing app onto your iOS devices for free, no PC, and we're taking you through every single step you possibly need. Now before we go ahead, if you are an iOS user, do not panic, we have a whole section on our channel just for you. And without any further ado, we will go ahead and show you every single thing and what to do for this. You must pay attention to every single step. We will tell you everything you need to do, how to do it, and to make sure that you get this for free. So stay tuned for the whole video. That means you don't have to comment down below if there is anything that goes wrong, because it will be all in this video, and it will go completely smoothly, I promise you. As cool, of course... If you do like this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and set up the notification bell, and also drop us a comment to share the love. Thousands of you watch our channels all day, every day, and it will be great to hear from all of you. So please make sure you do come along and say hi. Now, if you are watching this and for some reason you need an update, which just looks like on the screen in front of you. Now, of course, Pokemon do update their app every now and then. If that happens, then please make sure you just wait for it to be updated. Give it 48 hours or so, and then watch this video again, and hopefully it will work. Ice Beefer, they do update the video at uh, the app, so please make sure that you just keep an eye on it, and they will eventually update it for you. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get it. As I said, we are going to get iSpoofer onto your devices. And as you can see on the screen, it's a wonderful spoofed app that does allow you to walk around, teleport, and so on. We'll go through all of that later on. And I've, I would always recommend that you use an alternate account for this because you are spoofing, you are doing something that the anti doesn't want you to do. So I want you guys to keep safe. So please do use an alternate account or alts as I call them. All right, let's go ahead and show you how to download this for free without any PC. First things first, what I want you to do is go ahead and go to settings and sign out of any version of Pokemon Go that you have. So make sure you sign and sign out. Completely get rid of that. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and down, uh, delete any version of Pokemon Go that you have. Then you're going to want to go to settings. Then go to your Safari area. So go to Safari, clear off any history and web data, just to make sure we are completely clear so we know what we're going to do. Get rid of that. Now go to Safari, and you can open up iSpoofer.app. Then you can go ahead and click this yellow download button, and it's going to go direct install. Now, this is the bit where people think, oh my, it's a verification, this is a scan, this is not real. Absolutely, there, this is completely real. We do not do anything that is not. We are a completely legit place. We have thousands of people that are really, really happy. So just make sure you stay and do every single step that I show you. You will get this for free. I promise you, we are completely legit. And of course, when it is legit, please do comment down below to show everybody that we are legit so that we are trustworthy. So you're going to go ahead and do this. This is going to show you an advert. Because you are getting this for free, I suppose we get a small bit of money for an advert. So go ahead and click on this. Let it load. Loading is really important. And then just click on one of these links, whatever it might be, RAC Renewal Quote. So just click on it and let it load. Sometimes it might be a little bit buggy. So just go ahead, make sure you click on it, make sure it loads. You might need to go back a couple of times. You can see that it's whirling there. So I might want to refresh that just to make sure. Go ahead, we'll try it again. Sometimes it does go a little bit buggy. So let's click on it. I am not a robot, let's do that. As we can see, it's going to load. Wait for it to load, wait for it to load. You do not need to download anything. You do not need to do anything with it. Go back and you can see it is a green tick. So I'm glad it kind of was a little bit buggy there because it happens sometimes. So just make sure you do not need to download anything. You do not need to do anything at all. You are just shown an advert and then it will go ahead. Once you've got your green tick, click done and you will then see the install button. So click install and go back to your home screen. Now, do not go anywhere because some people still go, oh, I can't do it. It says untrusted developer. Well, this is the section of the video that is going to show you exactly what to do. So do not go anywhere just yet. While we are waiting for this to download, 
please make sure, number one, that you are using alternate accounts for this. And number two, you watch our video on how to do it safely. You cannot just download this, teleport around anywhere and use uh, Poke stops and catch any Pokemon anywhere. There are stops in place that Niantic have put in and you must know how to avoid those at all times. So please make sure once you have this downloaded, watch our video in the description and on our channel. Don't just comment down below saying that you can't do anything because we are going to explain all of that for you. So don't go anywhere. As you can see, it has started to uh, finish downloading. So if I try and open it, it will say untrusted developer. That's fine. Click cancel go to settings. When you get there, you're going to go all the way to general, go down to VPN and device network management, and you will see an enterprise app. Mine might look slightly different to yours because you might have a different version of it, but it's exactly the same. So just click trust and trust. You can then go back and open up the app. You never know, it might crash on the first time or might be quite slow to begin with. So just bear with it. Make sure that you are ready to use it. You can allow notifications if you so wish. Just wait for it to load. And of course, this is the point that I said, if it does say update to continue, then please make sure that you try it. Come back maybe 24 hours, try it again. If it's not been updated, usually it is updated within 24 hours. You'd need to delete the previous version, then re-download it after 24 to 48 hours. iSpoofer are very good at updating their app to make sure that it matches the exact one from Pokemon Go. So you're going to want to allow while using the app. And as you can see, I do have our spoofer there. Now, some people always say I can't log in. This is where you need to set your date of birth to over 18. So just scroll down, choose somewhere. It doesn't matter. When you click submit and then returning player, that will give you all of your options. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign into my How To Tech Studio account just to show you that this works. So don't go anywhere just yet. So we've got a couple of things that we still need to go through. So I'm going to put in my username and my password. Just like so. Hit log in. And then you can see that it starts to load up. So once we are logged in, some people are saying it is zoomed into my feet and I can't see or do anything. Now, if that does happen, you might need to delete it and retry or do the two finger pinch to try and move and zoom out of your person's account. You might need to log out and back in again. Just try those sorts of things, but it will eventually work. Because you're not using the original Pokemon Go app, there are some issues with making sure that it works perfectly. As you can see at the moment, mine it has a sort of black screen. It is a little bit slow, but once you get into it, it will eventually work. So as I said, if you are zoomed in too much, you can try and zoom out. And there we are, we do have iSpoofer. So before you go anywhere, just a couple more things. One thing you're going to want to do is go onto the iSpoofer logo, click settings and show joystick. That will then obviously show the joystick. And then you are to, uh, ready to go. Now, before you go anywhere, please make sure that you do watch the video on how to spoof safely. You must use an alternate account and you must do it safely. So check out our link in the description. We have a whole video on that. We have another video as well, all about iSpoofer, the best settings to have and making it really worthwhile for you. So please make sure you check that out too. Without any further ado then, please go ahead and enjoy it. Make sure you follow every single step in this video on how to get iSpoofer safely for free without any PC. And of course, once this works, please make sure you absolutely smash that like button, give us a subscribe and comment down below to say hello and thank us for what is a wonderful thing just for you. Okay, so show everyone that this is legit and it does work. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Go in, enjoy and I will see you all very, very soon.